name is Allison Wortman. I'm a perinatologist working out of the Medical Center of Alliance. Uh, I work with North Texas Perinatal Associates. And a perinatologist is basically a high-risk obstetrician. We uh, assist the obstetrician in high-risk pregnancies where either mom or baby is at higher risk. For people living in the United States, the only cases of Zika virus transmitted locally by a local mosquito have been in one neighborhood in Miami, Florida. For those of us living in North Texas, there have been no local transmission of Zika virus. In other words, no mosquito biting someone locally has given them Zika virus. Of the 89 cases reported in Texas so far, they have all been from those traveling to high-risk areas or of people having sexual contact with those traveling to high-risk areas. Although we do have the 80s mosquito here in North Texas, as well as most of the Southern United States, no mosquitoes affected with the Zika virus have been reported in North Texas. So North Texas is currently not considered a high-risk area for the Zika virus, and testing is only recommended for those with possible exposure to the Zika virus. For all persons with possible exposure to Zika virus, as in traveling to a high-risk area or having sexual contact with someone traveling to a high-risk area and showing symptoms of the Zika virus, they should present to their healthcare provider and be tested for the Zika virus. In addition, all pregnant women with possible exposure to Zika virus, whether they have symptoms or not, should be tested for the Zika virus. Zika virus testing is most accurate when done within 12 weeks of exposure. The specimens needed usually include blood and sometimes blood and urine specimens. Pregnant women with confirmed Zika virus infection or those with the possible exposure should be evaluated by a detailed ultrasound to look for any signs of fetal infection. Possibly multiple ultrasounds will be done throughout the pregnancy to ensure that no evidence of fetal infection develops. The CDC is now recommending that all pregnant women be screened for possible exposure to Zika virus at each prenatal visit. So if you are pregnant, please let your healthcare provider know if you had possible exposure to Zika virus, have traveled to a high-risk area, and please check the CDC's website for updated high-risk areas prior to traveling.